took care of it instead of my first legit time off work for like two years. Oh my god, yes. I both loved not having anything going on. Loved not having anything going on. But also kind of missed doing things. Like, there's a certain structure that I thrive upon. Um, that I, I, I really had an appreciation for on Monday. Like, I, I wake up, I get ready. I never want to get ready in the morning, but I get ready. I hop into my car and I drive to work, and sometimes on the way to work I call someone. Ugh. Do a little chatting, and that's fun, that's nice, we like that. I feel icky! It's fun to chat in the morning. Call Tristan reasonably often in the morning and just talk to him on the way to work just to get my brain started. Get to work, have a really engaging day, a lot of people to talk to, a lot of stuff needs to get done, chug the way through that. 6 p.m., start heading home. Almost always call a friend on the way home. I just have a lovely chat. Um... um yep. Yeah. GG! There it is. You can light bomb, I don't give a damn. Yeah, it was so nice to just um, you know, talk to Fran on the way home, and then I come on and do the show. And the show is work, right? Oh, we want, and there, oh! Let's just draw some superpower. Uproot. There it is. Even though the show's work, and in many ways the show can be very tiring, um, sometimes my, I'm, I'm not like in the best mood to do the show and that sort of thing, but man, oh, it, oh, that structure, I loved it. I mean, like, by and large, I love the damn show, right? And over break, man, it's like all these existential crises come to light. You know, like. Well played. You have been. I wanted to swipe with spell power, man. Do one more before the break. Hmm. Actually, I'll just hold here. Um, we'll do a little short break over here. Yeah, I. I but like, uh, when I was over break, there was like this this sort of existential crisis that happened where I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to do anything, right? So I was just like sitting there on my sofa, and I was like, I mean, I could I could play Counter Strike with my friend. Logged into Counter Strike, and it's like you don't have a competitive matchmaking rank. You can't play with your friend. You got to get a rank first. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe I won't. I just sat there, and all of a sudden, I was like, D does this happen to people? Where they're just sitting there, and because they don't have to do anything, there's just this crushing, like, there's this crushing feeling of lack of obligation. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just like. Ugh. Oh. oh, I mean, so often in my life, there has there's been some self-imposed task. Like, all right, I'm going to eat dinner. I'm going to go practice brood war. Got to get that shit done, you know. All right, coding project. I want to make a lot of progress on that because I want to make sure that we have something good by the end of the month, right? Like, there's something like that. But over break, it was just like, you don't have to do anything. There's nothing to do. And I, like, started to read a book, and I got, like, two pages in, and I just shut it. And I was like, oh, oh, God, I don't have to read the book. <laughs> it was so hard. Um, so I'm thrilled to be back. I'm thrilled to have my nice little structured schedule to like, do things in. Yeah. I even realized I didn't talk to that many people over my break because I didn't have a car ride where I had sort of pre-planned to, like, call people in. So I think I need to just... 
self-imposed more little structure bits. Mm. Be right back. Be right back.